Yeah, Ilya's uh, got a broken thumb that's going to require surgery. Uh, he's going to have that surgery here in, in a couple days, I think. And uh, it's looking like a minimum of eight weeks recovery. So it's a big loss for us. It's a very unfortunate for Ilya, who's having an excellent camp for us and uh, looked to be poised to have a big season. But uh, he was back in the gym here today with the guys and training and, and all of that and doing what he can to make sure he stays ready. So. We'll obviously be here and ready for him when he comes back. Is that part of the key with him now? Because John was saying after the game that night, Sheldon, that he's coming out of a shell a lot more. Feel you is to have the setback now. How is the staff have you guys kind of assured that that doesn't uh, derail him that way? Yes. Yeah, I think. Mentally, I suppose. That's what you're asking. Yeah, that really is important, you know, for any injured player. You know, you immediately sort of feel disconnected from the team. You're on a different schedule. You're not traveling with the team, you're obviously not part of the games. Uh, so it is important that we continue to have him involved. Like I said today, he was in here early doing his work before most of the guys got in, but he's still around the group. And I think that's important uh, for him. Most important here now, obviously, is he get through his surgery well and, and he works on his recovery. I have no doubts just in terms of his work ethic and the time that he puts in the gym and on the ice, you know, the nature of the injury, he'll be able to skate uh, before too long, I would think. and. He, you know, his, his legs and skating obviously is a big part of his game. Uh, so you know, we'll miss him for sure when he's gone, but I know he'll he'll work very hard to make sure he's ready when so he's healthy. It seems like some some guys, a number of teams dealt with injuries throughout the preseason, and it seemed long this year. Would you be in favor of a shorter preseason in, in future seasons, or do you think three weeks, six games is necessary? Well, I don't think it was any longer than any previous season. Uh, other than, of course, last with no no exhibition. But um, I think I've answered this question previously. And I think it's different for each player, right? I think the established NHL players, I think it's probably too long. Doesn't need to be that long. Doesn't need to be that many games. But each player probably is a little bit different. But I think generally speaking, the players don't require three weeks to get ready. But there's a lot more that you're trying to sort through in you know in a preseason you've got younger players that are trying to get themselves established they're trying to learn the system trying to adjust to the league you're trying to evaluate there's a lot of other things that are happening more so than just preparing the nhl players so you know uh, i think that the structure that's been in place has been there for a, a you know a great length of time and i don't suspect it's going to change a whole lot and i think in terms of how we manage these weeks uh you know we, it's very unfortunate we lost Ilya to injury but i think generally speaking we come out of it uh, pretty healthy here we had a couple bumps and bruises along the way where guys missed some time but we got a lot of really good work done in practice we were able to spend our time out in gravenhurst and i thought it was very productive so there's things that happen within the, this time frame that allowed us to be you know, to feel more prepared for wednesday what's the word on Austin's not at the point right now where he's feeling comfortable applying. Uh, he's still not quite there, so he's uh, he's not going to be available for us for this week uh, here, which is why you saw him, you know, uh, in a different jersey and not part of a line today. So we're just sort of adjusting to that reality. Uh, but clearly, you guys are watching that he's not very far away here. So we our our most important thing right now is to make sure he's 100% comfortable. He went through a season last season where he was not playing at 100%, and he's gone through this procedure uh, to be in that position, and, and we'll make sure that we're patient enough to allow that to happen. Uh, as I said, I think he looks terrific out on the ice, and he shows the impact he's going to have when he does uh, get in the lineup for us, but he being 100% confident and comfortable is the most important thing for us right now, so we'll be patient as that process plays out here. So next Monday, here he's yeah, I'm not expecting to be available for any of the, the first three games. What did you like, or what was the thinking behind the, the lines that you had in his absence now? Obviously, John, we've seen him up there before, but you know, kind of walk us through the thought process there. Yeah, I just, you know, I, obviously I hadn't put John there, say, for a few shifts or maybe a practice or something through camp because uh, we were counting on the fact that, that Austin, you know, was gearing towards being available for us. But shifting gears here now, uh, I like John in that spot. Uh, we've used Kerfoot with Nylander and Mikheyev uh, throughout a lot of the portion of the camp. 
Yeah, so no Mikheyev here now, so we'll put bunting uh, there. So we're confident with that of like Camp and Cash all the way through together. So we just thought the lines just sort of fell in place uh, for us when, when, once we, we knew that Austin wasn't going to be, be uh, available in the early going here. Sheldon, what uh, tip of scales in like um, Audio's uh, favor for Camp to have Yeah, it's really, it was a tough decision. One, uh, frankly, that I was not overly involved in is it's a management decision. Uh, for them to sort through, you know, as a coaching staff, we believed in both players. We've got more history with Adam, obviously, and he was a big part of our team last season. Down the stretch, he came in and played a very important role for us and did extremely well, and he's had a good camp here. Mike Amadio, at the same time, has got uh, significantly more experience in the league and has also had a very good camp here. So, you know, a decision had to be made, and obviously was made and we'll see how the you know the situation plays out with Adam but uh, I've already talked to him here today I, I really have him happy with how he's progressed over his time with the Marlies and to you know the, the role that he played for us last season uh, so it's difficult to see him in this situation but we value him him as a player and one way or another I'm going to be happy for him today you know he's 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 going to be either remaining in the NHL with another club or he's going to be remaining in our organization and uh, we like a lot about him so that would be a, a you know a win for us and I think you know he, he of course would like to remain here but you know the waiver, waiver system's in place for a reason that's to give guys a chance to remain in the NHL. So what do you like about I like his skill set. Uh, he's got good size, good skill set, versatile guy, good center wing, power play, penalty kill. Um, really good poise with the puck, very confident guy. He's he spent a great deal of his offseason here in the facility training, so I just feel like he was really comfortable coming into camp, and that was an advantage for him. Also an advantage for our staff and our other you know, players, teammates and such, to get com comfortable with him. I think uh, in each situation that we gave him throughout this preseason that I think did a really good job for us. So uh, I think he's just a you know just a good player in that sense, and I think he's got he's a confident guy that's looking for an opportunity here. And you know, obviously, if the Mikheyev injury doesn't happen, it might look a little different. But you know, these opportunities uh, come about, and I know he's excited for it. With uh, Austin out, uh, and it looks like Richie has the net front. Maybe John will go over the flank on the power play. How much does that change the dynamic? Well, the dynamic does change. We were working mainly on five on three today, so our five on four will have a different look than what you what you saw today. So that group was doing five on three, while while Spez's unit was doing five on four. So tomorrow it'll be a little bit different than that, but definitely we do have to adjust from what we were charting towards. Uh, you know the goalies will split. Have you settled on who gets the first start Wednesday? Yeah, Jack will go Wednesday. Peter Thursday.